All right, what's going on, guys? My name is Wingo One. Welcome back here to my channel and back to Crash Bandicoot: The Wrath of Cortex. The last time we completed the ice area, and now we're starting up our final area. Which I don't know what the theme of this one's supposed to be. I guess space, but we're starting the space area. Now that my elemental powers have reached maximum capacity. There is nothing you can do to stop me. Ooh. I'd like to check backward, just in case. Never know. Good start. I'm gonna do that just in case one of them try to jump out the water at me. I was ready. Okay. So, this looks like it won't be too bad of a level, hopefully. Again, hopefully. There's 138. Kind of those natural crates were a little bit over 20. Oof. Not a fan of lava. Okay, I guess I killed that one. Ooh, that was a little bit dicey. Not gonna lie. You know, I wondered if those might be nitro crates, but not bad. Aha! I stopped him. And so I shot him. Bow, 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 bow. This is a neat little bonus area. Kind of just wraps around the edge of the map. Both those crates are down. All three of those. Eh, it's not worth going for that mask. Oh boy. Oh boy. Whew. Not bad. Two, three, four, five. Nice. I'm gonna guess that that's all of them. We have a good chance at reaching 99 lives. Sometime soon. Okay, so they just ground pound. Kinda dive bomb. Hopefully maybe dying. That's gruesome, right there, let me tell you. Come on. Bad. Don't like all this lava. I wonder if each level is going to have a different element to it. Like, this will be like the fire one, and then there will be like, ah, uh, freaking water, and then an ice, and then something else. I'll go through all of the elements. No, come on. That's just rude. Okay, there's a checkpoint right there. I got caught on the ceiling. There was not anything I could do there. Just rip me. Oh. 
wonder if that's a death route. Oh god, if that's a death route, then rip. Honestly, it's not even that hard to get to the tape without dying, frankly. But no, I'm gonna guess that that's probably a death route. Whew. I'm trying to make sure that there wasn't another crate up there and I screwed myself. I don't think there was. If there was, it's hard to find, and in which case, rip. Really. God, it's so gruesome. I just slam into the ground and it sounds so painful for them. I just keep watching that crate count because I'm scared. Oh my god, is there seriously like 40 nitro crates? Okay, I guess there was like 44 nitro crates. Not bad at all. Uh, I'm gonna double check to make sure that that's a death route. I spelled Wrath wrong, but oh well, I don't understand. Um, Wrath of Cortex. Crash and burn. Yes, that's the death route. Let's go. We have to do this without dying. Up until the point where we see that item thing. Apparently I was recording at 57.05 frames per second. Don't quite know how that works, but apparently I was. <laughs> Yes, worried about crates this time. I keep almost missing it, and it really scares me every single time. I put emphasis on the every single time with my hand, but there's no way to do that. So. Also, I said I wasn't going to worry about crates very much, and here I go freaking going for crates. If I see lives or masks, I'll go for that. Otherwise, I'll try to keep away from it for the most part. But if I could get like, the super mask thing, that'd be fantastic. To say I don't want to go for that one. A little bit scared. Also, those are only nitro crates, but I'm gonna do it anyway. I'm gonna skip this extra route. Technically, you can actually do those extra routes as many times as you want when you go for a death route. Because a death route is never using a life. But when you die in one of those bonus areas, you don't use a life. So technically, you're perfectly all right to just say, screw it, go right through, and like try for one of those. Now, does it really matter if you do? I mean, not necessarily. I guess you could have gotten an extra mask and some lives, but other than that, not very much. Also, this level is actually really short when you do it like this. And I'm already right near my death row. Let's go. Come on. Death row. I guess another colored gem. Not bad. I think that's number four. Oh boy. That's a lot of nitro crates. I can see where the uh, 40 nitro crates came from. Or 44, actually. Oh, boy. Not a fan of this. No! Shoot. Oh, I'm not a fan of this at all. I think that keeps the death route alive, though. I don't think dying in there affects me. Right? Doesn't mean annoyed as heck. Let's just wait for it. That would just be bad timing otherwise. Okay, we have 75 lives. Let's see how many we have when I get done with this death route. How many times can I say death route in like three seconds? Three, seconds, three minutes. Two very different amounts of time. A little more careful this time. Oh! 
apparently I crouched down on it and I didn't move with it. So that's unfortunate. We've used two lives up so far. Nope, that ain't happening. I wanted it to, but it sure as heck was not on. Okay, round three. It's not even that hard of an area. I think it's just the fact that it's that moving platform that keeps screwing me up. Actually, you know what I could do? Fruit bazooka. Oh my god! I'm dumb. I'm dumb. Let's make this safer, shall we? Well, that works now, doesn't it? Oh, it does hold the sound out for that thing far past when you're actually done using it, which is kind of weird. That's a really long jump. Really? Shoot. That's a really long jump. Oh, God. I'll take every ounce of jumping skill that you have. I don't think I can jump over that. If I could, that'd be great, though. Nope. Uh-oh. Uh. Yeah, fruit. Oh, man. I hope there's not an ability I get from, like, beating the boss of this area that will help me here. Because that would suck. It's like, oh, hey, here's the thing that lets you have unlimited jumps. Like, well, that would have been great to have. I think I went too quickly on the double jump. That might have been my problem. Yeah, screw you, crates. I don't know why it keeps that sound going past when I used it, but whatever. God dang it, you idiot! You idiot! Oh. Yeah, speedrunning tactic. Yeah, I don't think you can get up above that. Oops. <laughs> I just screw it up so hard. Now, the fruit bazooka helps out a lot, though. That helps me out. I forgot I had it. Make this game way too easy now. Stop just short of it. Okay, fruit bazooka. Let's go. Come on. I thought that once you push down that first one, that it would then cause the second one to rise. Apparently not. Really? Can you actually make that right now? Crash. I'll look it up. Um, okay, it really doesn't help me out a whole ton with this. Okay, let's look at the crash and burn death line. Death route. Okay, let's see what they do for this death route. Maybe I'm just doing it badly.
Yeah, I don't know how he did that. I feel like his glide is like way better than mine. Okay, except right there I glide perfectly fine. I don't know. Yeah, you definitely cannot clear that. What in the world? That's weird. Be running tricks, maybe, but not really. Well, what is this? Attempt number like six or so? There you go. Now, see, that's a really good glide. I don't know why I felt like I wasn't doing that. Oh, fool. Oh, they give me a pity mask. I didn't realize that. Come on, we got this. This is the try. I will succeed this time. I feel like I don't glide when I do that. It's really, I don't understand it. Right there, I feel like I glide perfectly fine, but right in that area, I feel like I just don't glide at all. Yes. Pity mask plus a normal mask equals nice. No, let the, uh, it's not even worth it now. Might as well just wait. I refuse to stop until I get that item, that little gem. Speaking of items, I'm selling Rocket League items now, so nice. Hoping to make a little bit of profit on it. If the one sells for as much as I have it for, which odds are it won't, because I have it for a very high price. But if it did sell at that, I would have made a profit already. Whoop. Well, let's wait a minute. That sold. This one trail for like three bucks, which I realized now it was probably worth a bit more than that. Oh well. Let them learn. See, there you go. Now I glide perfectly fine. I don't know why it wasn't earlier. That's weird. I don't know, man. But frickin' Crash and Burn was completely accurate. <coughs> Red gem. Let's see what gold rush is like. See if it's quick level or if it's a long one. I try to keep these around 20 minutes, but eh. It's not like I haven't broken that rule probably five times already. In just this series. I don't know what it was that it just was not letting me glide like that, but... Holy crap, 200 boxes. Well, let's see how we do. Mask of oh, that should be a super mask. Yeah, let's go. Not bad. About a tenth of the box is down. If not really. Nice. Doesn't seem like a very difficult level. Okay, I don't know why I thought I could ride that thing. Nice. I thought for a second I played myself. And I'm like, God dang it. No, I'm good. Did get hit though, sadly. But, you know how it goes. It might actually be another death route here. I don't know, because there's two different gems to get. It's either a colored gem route or it's a death route. I don't think that'll get all of them, will it? Oh, it did. Okay. Oh, boy. Let's 
Well, this is an interesting one. Not doing too badly, though. All that's left is that one Nitro Crate. Not bad! I'm freaking flying through this level. What do I have now? 69 out of 209. God, there's still so many boxes left. And when you have moments like this, where there's six Nitro Crates in a row, I don't think it'll be too bad. know that would explode when it dropped or not. Oh no. The return to this awful hanging stuff. It's so slow. I hate it. Oh, we have so much of it to do now. Oh no. Phew. There you go. Why well, they have sections like that? Because then you can get like a little bit of extra distance in within the same time. Hardly any real extra distance. Well, shoot, I'm already dumb. I don't know what the controls were. Let me die. Actually, you know what I could do? I guess is go do the color gem route. If I can find it, that is. Missed one crate, and I'm screwed. I try to get the color gem route here, and the next time we'll go for the normal gem. Okay. Oh, uh, I'm at a hundred, though. Not bad. I don't think this level will be too bad to get the. Stuff on though. Nicely done. Actually, here's my extra route. Is it a death route? That looks like a death route. Is this another colored gem? It might be. Ooh, that's scary. I don't like these TNT guys. Noxious. Whew! That was close. That's actually a colored gem. What do you know? Huh. I'll take that. Nice! So next time... I don't even know what this level's called. We have all of our colored gems, though. That's all five. Whatever this level's... Badgers. Level is called... We'll get to it in the next episode. What's it called? Gold Rush. So I guess next episode we'll finish off Gold Rush and probably head to number 23, which is the Medieval Madness. That looks like a rolling one. What are we at right now? 55% done with the game. All five colored gems plus 24 clear gems. Not bad. And one platinum relic. Not bad at all. So I guess next time we'll get back to it. So if you liked what you saw, be sure to, you know, do the normal old comment with Stuff you gotta say and like if you like it, subscribe, all the normal junk everyone says. My name is Wangahoa, and I hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching.